Okay, in this question, we're comparing two columns. It's our quantitative comparison question. I'm going to write down the columns right here. We have x over y, and we have 0.85. The question is, well, we don't know x, but we do know it's between 6 and 7, and we know that y is equal to 8. So we can already put this y way down there. So that's 8. So what we're going to look for here is the range. We know that x can be as low as, well, not. 6 itself, but almost 6, so 6.0001. So we can just say 6 and make sure that we keep this greater than sign without the equal underneath it, but that's the limit, the lower limit. What's the upper limit of x? Well, or upper limit of x is 7. So we know that this must be between 6 8 and 7 8, somewhere. This value here in a must be between 6 8 and 7 8. So 6 8 is 3 4, which we know is. 0.75. Now, the reason I assume you know that this, this is one of those fr fraction and decimal conversions that is very fundamental. This is something that must be part of your conceptual math, math mind. So that I'm assuming. However, I'm assuming that the seventh eighth does not fall into that category. But let's, let's take three fourths apart for a second. Well, how do we know it's 0.75? Well, one fourth is 0.25. And how many one-fourths do we have? Well, we multiply that by 3, and we get 3 fourths. So 0.25 times 3 is 0.75. Now, I wouldn't necessarily show you this because I already said it's very basal or fundamental. There's no need to. But you can actually use this information to figure out what must 7 eighth equal. 7 eighth is going to be what? Well, what if I said 8 over 8? What's that? That's 1. That's pretty easy. What's 8 eighths minus 1 eighth? Oh, 7 eighths. Well, that's nice and everything, but how does it help us? Well, let's take, let's go back to there. 1 fourth was 0.25. What's 1 half of 1 fourth? Well, 1 eighth, that's helpful, and we knew that 1 fourth was 0.25, and half of 0.25 is going to give us 0.125, which is very good. Because now we know that 1, going back to 8 over 8, minus 1 eighth, which is 0.125, gives us 0.875, which is at the higher range, or which is higher than 0.85. So though this value here in column A can never quite get to 0.875, it can get to 0 0.874, 873, etc., which is definitely bigger than this side. And it can get as small as 0.75, which means it can be smaller, the same, or bigger. So therefore, the answer is D.